Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get straight to it. Today, find out how the price of IOTA has changed and what the technical indicators RSI, Divergence, Stochastic RSI and MACD show. If you are unfamiliar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos below. Looking at the IOTA hourly time frame, the price moved quickly to the downside with around 4.7% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 1.34. On the other hand, this move wasn't very strong because the volume wasn't very high. Looking at the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI is at 39, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Looking for divergence in the hourly time frame, there is a bullish divergence, which means the price could go up from now or at least consolidate for some time. Looking at the hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. The K line is below the D line, which shows that the trend has shifted to the downside. Looking at the hourly MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. However, the MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently shifting to the downside and it could be expected that the price will consolidate and it is better to wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bearish. Moving to the 3 hourly relative strength index, the current 3 hourly RSI is at 39 so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Moving to the 3 hourly stochastic RSI, we can see that the crypto is being oversold because the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region. A change in the trend can be expected or for the crypto to remain at least stable for some time. The trend has shifted upwards because the K line is currently located above the D line. Jumping to the 3 hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. However, the MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently shifting to the upside and it could be expected that the price will consolidate for some time and you should wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time.